there's obviously a lot of people that are huge Conor McGregor fans. But now there seems to be this new uprising against him Mm -hmm. of people that are like, he's kind of like a a cocksucker now. You know, he's just like blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, that's what that's what the UFC has kind of become all about, right? Is you know, you have to sell the fight. Mm-hmm. And he's obviously he obviously does that. Yeah. And and the people that are like, "Oh, he's the he's like he's washed up now. He's not even a good fighter anymore. He's just an asshole." Those are the same people in my opinion that are like, "But he's entertaining, so I'm always going to buy his fights." So how are you going to sit there and say you don't like him because he's an asshole, but you're still going to buy the fights next time he fights. Like, that's why you're going to buy the fight, is because that's what he does, is he right, sells exactly. his fights. Yeah. You know what it's kind of like? It's kind of like Twitter, in that people are more likely to interact with things that make them angry. Yeah. Right? Than happy. Nobody but, replies to tweets and says, this makes me so happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But isn't this always the way it goes? Isn't this always the way it goes? And I think that, look, and, uh, you know, I don't know anything at all about fighting. Neither do um, I. Perhaps Connor is on the back end. Perhaps he is going he definitely downhill. Is. Okay, there we go. So, it, so that being said, his other lane there is all that shit talking. Yeah, that's exactly. That's how he. So keeps now he's getting really paid. ramping that up. Yeah, that's yeah. how he keeps getting paid. Yep, because he's still Conor McGregor, even though he's not going to win fights. You know, he just made like the guy he fought. Poirier, or however you say his name, I think made like not including their pay per view shares. I think he right. made a million dollars, and Conor McGregor made twenty three million dollars. Right, it's twenty three times the amount of the dude that he would have inevitably lost to in that fight, and twenty three times, and that dude's making a million dollars. It's a lot of money. It's a it's a huge difference, and that again from my limited knowledge just seems to be the way it's always been in that sport you know you're either the best or you're just yeah, kind of like fe- I think fighting there, for scraps i think there was a guy on that well i mean that whole main card i think like you know even did you, so the, the very first fight was this o'malley guy who i guess a lot of people like again i know nothing about fighting versus this guy who is like a nobody he never had a he was never actually fought in UFC. He had like twelve professional fights before that. He was nine and three. Whoever this dude was supposed to fight, I don't know if he got hurt, or whatever. This dude had eleven days notice to fight, and he got the piss pounded out of him. Of course, he the, that O'Malley dude threw like two hundred fifty punches and landed two hundred of them all to this dude's face, and he <laughs> stayed up. All three rounds. Well, they ended up calling the fight with like 26 seconds left. And I don't really know why because the guy was still, you know, I mean, he was getting his ass kicked. Don't get me wrong. But he was still like on the attack. He was actually moving forward. He wasn't even like falling backwards. or anything. He was moving forward when they called the fight. But he took so many fucking punches to the face, like more punches than anybody ever should. He's going to. Give him three years before they're gonna have to lay this man to rest. Like he, two hundred punches, and it was just do, 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 that's like unbelievable. Quick jabs that's like some anime time. shit. Yeah, it was crazy, and he stayed up. Yeah, just, that's what's yeah. wild. And yeah, it's such BS that they called the fight. There's 26 seconds left. Like you could have just gave the man 20 more, six more seconds. He would have stayed up because at that point he knew he wasn't gonna win. For like, sure, he had only landed like 12 hits of his own. But like he was, he shouldn't have even been in that ring. Let him just. At least make it go to decision so he can say, like, fucking rights. Like, look at me. Like, you, gotta, you guys didn't. The dude that, the O'Malley dude that won was was plus a thousand or minus a thousand, like, gambling odds to win. So that's risk a thousand dollars, win a hundred dollars, like, gambling wise. Got it. Whoa. Yeah, that's the most insane odds ever for a one for a 1v1 fight. Like, yeah. all you have to do is catch somebody one time. And he was minus a thousand. That's pretty and this wild. Dude sta- should have lasted the whole fight. Yeah, I don't really understand the whole gambling side of it, but I think you're right. At that point, you got to let him have his Rocky moment because yeah. you're absolutely right. That guy. I mean, if you get eleven days notice, you know you're probably going to get the shit beat out of you. You know you're definitely not going to win. You, 
the win in that moment is going the distance. Well, who's that guy? Dana White is the guy, right? The UFC the, guy? Yeah, he like owns the UFC. Yeah, so they give out bonuses. like So they have like a completion bonus. If they go all three rounds, if the fight goes to decision, there's like a bonus, I think. So I think there was talk that they were going to give him the bone. Like they were both fighters were going to get the bonus anyway since there was – I don't know if that's true or not. It. But um, I hope so because otherwise there's going to be a sh- – just a shitstorm of people being like, it fucking rigged. They didn't want to pay out this money, so that's why they stopped it with that amount of time. 